Hi everyone, Corey here again from Tales from a Polk County Girl. Now that One Book July is over, I decided to sit down and revamp the Traveler's Notebooks that I'm currently using. And in this video, I'm going to show you just what has changed, what hasn't changed, and let's get on with it. Okay, starting from smallest to biggest. Um, this is my little ZLYC passport side. I just love showing off that texture. Um, at one point, I had taken this down from the three notebooks that are in here to two, but I decided to put my Pride and Prejudice Netherfield Ball insert back in here because when I get random story ideas, I like writing them in this little book. This this little one it is full of just random story ideas. The the next one is a Midori blank notebook that I just jot down stuff in. And I stuck some post-its in the back of it. And this one is one of those paper craft books that I got in a three pack from Big Lots. And this one just has random stuff like a grocery list. At one point I was debating on whether or not to have this as my daily setup, but it just it was just too tight for me to do it like that. So that's the little one. And this one, you know, gets thrown in my purse. It lives beside my bed for when, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning and I need to write something down. It goes in here. The next one up is fabric, the fabric dory that I made. This is it's the equivalent of a B6 size, so it holds seven by five inch, seven inch by five inch notebooks in here. And uh, it still has my gardening notebook. This one is cut down because I tried putting it in a narrow and it just didn't work. But I, ha I don't feel like rewriting the information in here. This notebook is going to become a homesteading notebook where I keep track of things around the house and how to live more self-sustainably and everything. This one is my book notes book and all of these notebooks came from Walmart. These two, these casemate ones, were 88 cents a piece. And right now it is back to school time at Walmart and you can get them for that price. Oh, I need to show this off. I don't know if I ever did. I just took a card and some washi tape and made a little pocket so that I could keep like the information tag from a peach tree back here. I was really proud of that. I know it's not a big deal, but I was proud of it. Come on. And there isn't much in my book notes notebook right now. I was reading a book on strokes for um, personal reasons. So that's what's in that one. And this one stays home. This one does not go out with me. Um, the next size up, um, you've seen by now, hopefully, I will have listed my Foxy Fix Marina Le Petite number no. 5 unboxing video. I have it set up now. I love this color. It smells good too, but I just, I'm in love with this color. And um, what I like most about the Foxy Fix stuff is, hopefully that's showing up, the stitching is the same color as the dye on the leather, as well as the closure elastic. And, let's see the interior elastics. I, I do appreciate that, especially when it's colored, when it's not a natural leather color or anything, or a more natural dye or a neutral color. I like I like that consistency. So what is in here? Oh, and this one has no pockets. I did not get the pockets. I have found that I really just like the classic or non-pocketed style of the Traveler's Notebook. Um, 
I have another Casemate notebook in here from Walmart. It says Genius Notes on it. It is currently blank, so this one has potential. The next one is a Coca-Cola notebook, again, that I got from Walmart. It was on the clearance rack, so I think I paid a buck for it. And this one is more brain dumping, more um, like when the little brain dump notebook gets filled up in here. I'll, I go back through it, and anything that's not done on this gets put into this one. Some people may think that's overkill. It's just what I did. And this one, this is a small composition book that I also got from Walmart. And this is my projects book. I have in here lists of particular projects and the steps that need to be done for them. Like, I talked in my goals video about how I'm hoping to, once craft show season's over, be able to list any unsold product on Etsy and just see if it, I can sell it that way. Well, in order to do that, I'm starting to build a file of, you know, what my product is, what information I need about it, and this is just a checklist, you know. I'm, and how I'm going to do it. It's just going to be a generic um, file that can be copied and pasted for any one of the dishcloth colors or you know anything like that. Um, another project, uh, TN insert ad, which I'm currently working on. That was paper thin. Beep. Uh, stuff to do for the house. Uh, we plan on replacing ceiling fans, replacing some outdoor lights, and all this stuff, and yeah, it's just a to-do list like that. This one may or may not come out of the house with me, it just depends on how I feel, and if I think there's anything in there I could work on outside the house. So that's that one. Uh, let's go with... Okay. I used the Maverick for... Um, one book July. God, this thing is still heavy. Um, but it's thicker leather. I know it's thicker leather, therefore thicker leather equals more weight. But for an everyday carry, I went back to my ZLYC Narrow, showing off the texture again. And all that I have in here is my Yellow Paper House um, Year of Monthlies. There's August, not too much going on yet. Uh, a craft folder that is covered with sticky notes. These, um, those are ones I just stuck there. This is stuff that actually has purpose. There's my craft folder from Canyon, and inside I have my 31 day journaling booklet that I'm working on. As much as I like to journal longhand, it is nice just to have a daily prompt so that the daily snippet, and it's pre done. In the back, I've got my stamps and uh, some Joanne's coupons. I also added one of these um, stick-on pen loops right there. So I don't use it that much, actually. <laughs> but I wanted... I've been thinking every single time I use this that, oh, wouldn't it be great if I had a pen loop on this thing? And many of you will recognize this insert. This is the would-be brain up insert from One Book July. Well, I ended up only using like a few pages at the beginning for One Book July. So what I ended up doing, because I liked having the daily, you know, having my daily schedule like that every day, um, I decided to just continue on doing that in July, in July, August. So what I did... I drew out my month, because I like having both the month in the calendar form. Actually, you guys don't need to see that. In the calendar form and in the line form. So, there's that. And what I just covered up, probably too late, is um, all the bills I had to pay this month. And I got them all paid, thankfully. Um, but yeah, here's an idea of what my day my day setup looks like. It's no different than how it was at One Book July. So I'm starting at 7 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. Um, 
and then anything throughout the day that enters my head, I just jot down over here. Or if, um, say I had to go somewhere and I wanted to make sure it was a place I'd never been before and I wanted to make sure I had the address for it, um, I could jot it down in that, in this area right here. I mean, it's kind of like a, a little note section. And what I love about this is, um, say if, I mean, I didn't do it, but if I had wanted to, Thursday, when I finally got all, everything set up, I was bad, y'all. I didn't really get August set up until August 4th. Um, I, we had a big planning meeting at work, and I knew that, you know, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., I was just going to be in this meeting, couldn't do anything else. I could have just written that on one line if I really wanted to. I ended up not. It, I did different things when I got home. I'll show it to you. I can show it. It's not a big deal. Did that. And um, also for the weekends. For the weekends, I don't do individual days. I do like this. So I have three different, I actually have two different color pens and actually four different pens on this page. Um, I'm trying to go through and figure out what pen I actually want to use for August. It's hard when you have a, uh, when you have a drawer full of them and you don't know which ones you want to use. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I did throw my exercise log in here just to keep it. And Monday, I started setting Monday up, but I haven't written anything in it. But that's, but that is August. And in the back, I've got uh, there's some personal information back there. I'm not going to show you that. But for everyday carry out of the house, nice and light, my ZLYC. And on a slight tangent, if anybody else uses Chic Sparrow notebooks, I'm sure you've seen that Jennifer is planning on discontinuing the classics. Sad face here. Um, not, not that I don't love my Maverick. I do. But I kind of wish I could get another one without pockets. I guess I'm going to have to look on the buy-sell trade group. Tangent over. So, what is going on with the Maverick now that One Book July is over? Well, the Coletto is still there. And what I've done is I've essentially stuck every other insert that I'm using in here. So, my first collections notebook is right there, and I am still in the middle using it. The second one is right behind it. Then my knitting one. Then this one. And this one is, it was being called the Master To-Do List book. Since I've got one of those in this one, um, this I don't know what this one's going to become. If I run out of room in the insert in here for dailies, I may just pop this one in there and use that as my daily. And then my blog post one. And what's really nice is for these, I can just pop them in and out. So they're they're really just in here to be corralled. So. <laughs> my husband actually asked me the other day, he's like, how many traveler's notebooks do you have going at any one time? Like, that I carry out of the house with me, or that have stuff in them that I'm probably going to use at least once a week? So the answer to that is one, two, three, four, five. I know there are some that have an, a collection of dozens, but I'm not there yet. But okay, that's how I reset my TNs and we'll see how August goes and we'll see if in October I move into this thing completely. Because I love this size, y'all. Oh my god, I do. Um because you know how easy it is for me to get inserts or little cheap notebooks in this size. So, that being said, I'll see everybody later and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.